Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I want to talk to you about the rumor that Black Ops 4 is not going to have a campaign and in place of campaign is going to have a battle royale mode. The gameplay you're going to get to see while I talk about all of that is me using the new Sterling submachine gun in Call of Duty World War 2 just came out, only one I unlocked, got a suppressor, working some challenges, and I'm using the nail baseball bat for fun just here and there. So you may have heard that Black Ops 4 is not going to have a campaign. That was pretty much all of my Twitter today. Everybody was sharing it. The rumor is not yet confirmed by Activision. They chose not to make a comment, deferring only to their reveal event, which is in exactly one month, May 17th. But it did show up on Polygon and then Charlie Intel. And the rumor came from a reputable source that apparently was right about other things before. And a lot of big news orgs and gaming respectable ones that are usually a little bit more leery about posting BS were comfortable posting it today and based on everything that I know I believe that this rumor is probably true it really wouldn't surprise me if Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign the amount of COD gamers playing campaign has significantly decreased it's a significantly less important part of the purchase decision and we are just getting a lot of stuff early this year which would be easier to do if there was no campaign Treyarch, or not Treyarch I should say, but the leaker rumor tipster guy said that Treyarch's reasoning was that the campaign was just too outlandish and too out there. Whatever they were trying to do was either too big in scope or just something that wasn't settling well. On top of that it was taking a lot of resources and just was not going to be finished in time, so Treyarch was forced into the unusual decision of having to either rush campaign or just have no campaign at all, and it looks like they chose no campaign at all. So when it comes to how I feel about this personally, I'm not bothered by not having a campaign. I just don't care about that at all. It's a 0% influence on me gameplay wise, but other things, most notably the fact that this decision was made late into development, do bother me. So I rarely play Call of Duty campaigns. I think I've played Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. I haven't played the Black Ops 3 campaign or any of the campaigns before or after that really. I played a little bit of Modern Warfare, but the meat, the, the bones, the all the, the best bits of Call of Duty for me has always been the multiplayer. Even if I beat the whole campaign on the hardest difficulty or whatever, that's only maybe like 10 hours of gameplay and I'll sink a couple of days into the multiplayer or weeks every single time. So not having campaign is like not having a cherry on top of my ice cream. It's still delicious ice cream, it just doesn't have that one other little side thing going on. COD campaigns are usually pretty short on top of that. As a matter of fact, I think if you rush, you could beat Modern Warfare 3 in like four or five hours, and multiplayer is just the better experience. In the case of Treyarch, giving them more time to work on multiplayer is good. They've always made good multiplayer. Hell, Black Ops 3 was playable like a year before it came out, which was a really fun experience for me. And they've said that they will develop, put some of the other resources toward further developing the zombie mode. Zombies has its own huge fan club going on. Zombies it's pr is practically its own campaign and story. It plays differently than most campaign games, but it does have its own overarching story and its own huge fan club and everything. So having more zombies maps, better zombies maps, more time put into zombies is all good by me. And Treyarch did say that they might include some kind of co-op mode. I guess it'll be probably salvaged of whatever's left from campaign, some sort of map repurpose, some horde mode or something that's not zombies but still co-op. So okay, bonus mode, sure. What worries me about this is not the lack of campaign, it's the unusual crack in Treyarch's armor. As of right now, Treyarch is the community favorite studio, and they have been for a couple of years, and even when they weren't the community favorite studio, they always delivered very solid games. They were always very on top of things, so why would they now not have campaign? How did they screw up campaign so bad that it had to be completely scrapped? COD's had a campaign for 15 years now, and it's just sort of a traditional thing. A lot of fans will miss it. There's a lot of casual players or offline players that'll miss it too. A lot of people overseas that don't have good internet and surprisingly do buy the game for campaign. And a mistake of this size is rare for Treyarch. It, it might be a mistake. This could all be bogus and wrong, but I kind of do believe it. And if it is just a developmental issue, that's rare for Treyarch. I'm sure that PUBG and Fortnite already smell blood in the water, which brings me to part two. There was another two tipsters, one sometime back and another one independently today, and then a sort of 
I believe it was an Activision shareholder thing where some, uh, you know, industry speculator said that he thought Call of Duty was going to develop a Battle Royale mode. So we have a lot of interest and eyes on the Battle Royale mode with the explosive growth of PUBG and then the triply explosive growth of Fortnite over the last year or two. It wouldn't surprise me if there is a Battle Royale mode for COD. As I said in previous videos, Activision and all of the Call of Duty studios do adapt very quickly. They've innovated some things and some things they're just playing catch up on, but they do a pretty good job on that. I think this rumor is true as well. You already have a sort of prototype one working for COD Online in China, and it's very clear that if you want to make money and be successful in the gaming industry, Battle Royale is the place to be at the moment. So doing that is just a smart business decision. Like if Activision wants to make money, they're going to make it on Battle Royale. The best thing that they could possibly do to just blow up the COD player base and make it huge like Fortnite is, and I think Fortnite just kind of lit a fire under the butt of console developers. So PUBG was an explosive phenomenon on PC, 100%, but it never really caught on console because the game wasn't optimized for it. Fortnite literally exploded on console, exploded on mobile, and still does very well on PC, so it showed that console gamers are very apt to Battle Royale games. So I think the best thing they could do is kind of emulate the Fortnite model, I think it'd be awesome if Call of Duty Battle Royale was just completely free to play. Anybody could play COD Battle Royale, load it up with cosmetic microtransactions, give me a new $20 skin every day, I don't care as long as they're not behind loot boxes, and it'll be it'll be just fine and dandio, because it doesn't matter, cosmetics just don't matter to me, whatever people want to spend on them, and the player base will grow very quickly. It wouldn't be bad if it was just included in the game either. Just included in the game would be pretty good, because you just get the $60 game and you get Battle Royale on top of that, so it's kind of like you get a game with a little PUBG included. I would be really sad if it was something that was tied behind an additional pay tier like a season pass or a DLC or something else that you had to buy into on top of the game because then you wouldn't even have the players to play it. I'm personally, I'm just betting on included with the game. You just buy the game and you get Battle Royale as well. But I'm actually excited about this. I really enjoy Battle Royale games. I've been cheating on you guys a lot with that there uh, Fortnite game and that PUBG game and no small amount of Overwatch as well. So I'm really excited to see Call of Duty changing things up. A lot of community members are very salty about it. They do not like Battle Royale. They hate Fortnite. They hate PUBG. The most common thing I see is that Fortnite is a game for children and that they are really sad that all the COD YouTubers are sellouts that only post Fortnite now. And I see criticisms of PUBG mostly in that it can be boring because you loot and wait and loot and wait and there's a lot of hiders. Both games do get criticized for being boring as well, but I find them to be extremely exciting. I find to be both I find Fortnite and PUBG to both be more exciting than Call of Duty for the most part. It's just really hype to try and survive against a hundred other players, and to do it successfully is a skill that you just don't have to master in COD. So I love it, and no matter what side of this you're on, the reality is, like it or not, Battle Royale is the way to go in gaming. It is the future of gaming. Battle Royale games are making money. Not a lot of other games are doing quite as good, Overwatch perhaps being an exception, but being anti-Battle Royale means you're just going against the crowd. You are the rock in the stream, the stick in the mud, you're the old guy that wants to buy CDs, you want to go to Blockbuster Video, you're, it's kind of like when they started adding regenerating health after the success of Halo and Call of Duty and they just completely wiped health packs from most games. There's most most shooter games now, you don't pick up health packs, you just, re, you just either die or you don't, and you regenerate a little bit. And that mode of gaming made a lot of people very angry in the early 2000s, because they felt that it was skillless. They felt that it just gave you a free health bar just for, sur for surviving the fight, and then anybody that likes it is a noob. But that's just not how it works. I mean, that that's stuck, and that's kind of how Fortnite's going. Not Fortnite. I said Fortnite. That's what I, that's what's on my brain. It's Battle Royale. But being anti that means you're just going against the crowd. Battle Royale may be a fad, but it's going to be at least a moderate term fad. It's going to be a two or three year fad, just like MOBAs around League of Legends or hero games around Overwatch or microtransactions being put in games. It's already done. So many studios are gearing up for their own Battle Royale games and their own takes on this. It's just going to happen now, whether we like it or not. So I'm just going to get on board that train and ride it out. Personally, I've been wanting a COD Battle Royale for ages now. Right after playing PUBG, the first thing I thought is, gee, wouldn't it be great if I could take a smooth, optimized game like Call of Duty and play it in Battle Royale? Wouldn't it be great if I could play a game that didn't have 15,000 glitches like PUBG 
and play it in Call of Duty. And a lot of you are going to criticize Call of Duty and say it's not smooth and it lags and it has glitches. And you think Call of Duty is bad and unoptimized, just go play PUBG for a couple hours and come back and report to me. That game is... It, it's a bit rough. Even Fortnite is a bit rough. But you take a polished game like Call of Duty and make it Battle Royale, that could be juicy. But that's enough about what I think. I want to hear what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.